it's been a while since we've seen Ratchet and Clank on our home consoles. 2016, in fact, was the last time that we saw the iconic franchise. And although it technically wasn't a new adventure, it was refreshing to see that PlayStation and Insomniac still had faith in the IP. Insomniac has gathered a lot of new fans since their latest release, Spider-Man PS4, but one of their longest running franchises have brought them to where they are today, and where their true success story began. It began with a little franchise called Ratchet and Clank. Whilst Sean Layden was still at Sony Interactive Entertainment as a chairman, he stated, and to open this quote, we like what they've, Insomniac, been doing in the Spider-Man franchise, and things like Ratchet and Clank are certainly vital series in the present and future. That's what we're concentrating on." End quote. This is perhaps a sly way of telling us that a game is currently in the works, whether that be conceptually or an actual development. Even whilst researching this video, I couldn't find any leaks or rumours surrounding the next entry into the Ratchet & Clank franchise. Only fan speculation about the next game, which is leading me to think that the game has either only just started development for the PS5, or that they haven't touched the IP at all. Because there are rumours going around that Insomniac are working on a new Spider-Man game for the PS5. Now with this information, it got me thinking about Insomniac and Sony. As with Sony acquiring Insomniac, Sony could now in theory give the Ratchet and Clank IP to anyone under its wing. And I highly doubt they would do that. I'm pretty sure that Sony wouldn't want any other developer apart from Insomniac to work on a new Ratchet and Clank game. If they did, that would be like Kojima Productions working on the next Call of Duty an attempt to recapture the wonder of the other entries in the series, but I could almost guarantee it would most likely fall flat on its face. And plus, I don't think it would sit right with me and many other of the fans if Sony did this. Ratchet & Clank on the PS4 was a bit of a mixed bag. It was gameplay-wise a return to form for the franchise. And what I mean by that is that it wasn't a spin-off like Deadlocked which I will get into later in the discussion, so do stay tuned for that, but many people just didn't like the story of the 2016 release. And yes, it was a reimagining of the original game, but there are many reasons people disliked the story, saying that many of the side characters felt flat and unquirky, that the dynamic between Ratchet and Clank was different to what it was in the earlier games, because they're more buddy-buddy in the 2016 release, if you get what I'm saying. Also that the game felt shoehorned in because of the tie-in film, and that the plot was all one note and predictable. Now, I can see some aspects of these arguments, and I can't with others. But come on, of course it's going to be predictable, because it's a bloody reimagining. But to continue, so as of this discussion's upload, there have been no official words of a new potential release in the Ratchet & Clank series. Maybe Insomniac are pushing it to be a release for the PS5 at launch, and perhaps just to boost the PS5 sales, and hopefully Sony can win the console war once again. But as of this point, anyone's guess is equally as good as mine because there's just not enough information out there to make an educated guess on what will be next for the platforming duo. There are multiple avenues that Insomniac could go down for their next Ratchet & Clank game, and here are a few that me and my friends have discussed as possibilities for the next entry in the Ratchet & Clank franchise. Insomniac could choose from three storylines, the future timeline which revolves around games such as A Crack in Time and Into the Nexus, a sequel to the 2016 game, but it will be a reimagining of the second game, much like the first, and ultimately a sequel to the 2016 game, but with a new story which would be notably different from the original sequel, Going Commando. 
Out of these three possibilities, I feel like they would do a sequel to 2016's Ratchet and Clank, but with a new story. I just don't want to believe that Insomniac would just do another retread of their previous work. And I get that the 2016 game was a retread, but I feel it's more of a jumping off point. Maybe just to get people invested in the story once more, and to refresh the player base as to what happened in the first game. As I do highly doubt that many people would get out their PS2s just to remember the first game's story, they would most likely just look online or play the reimagined games first. Which I'd say is a pretty clever way of keeping the player base engaged, and not just doing a retread of the original sequel but with a few slight tweaks. Insomniac have stated that they are interested in developing a new Ratchet and Clank game. And that's not a secret. Whenever Insomniac have been questioned about when or if Ratchet and Clank will return, they have not disputed the claims, but instead talked about how the Ratchet and Clank IP is a pivotal one of theirs. So in theory, we could assume that Insomniac are not done with their beloved franchise. I really do hope that if Insomniac releases a new Ratchet and Clank game, that it's not a spin-off like Deadlocked or All For One. Now, don't get me wrong, those games aren't bad, not bad at all, but it's not what the fans wanted. Yes, it had the characters from Ratchet and Clank, but it didn't have the same Ratchet and Clank charm. The charm of platforming through a level and finding all of the golden bolts. Personally, I enjoyed those games, but not to the extent that I liked the mainline games. In fact, Insomniac stated that Deadlock was, and to quote, a mistake, which I think is a pretty bold statement to make, but at least they understand what the fans want. Insomniac did in fact take a different angle when creating their most recent release in the Ratchet & Clank franchise from 2016. They adapted the formula that they already had, and incorporated many elements from each entry to produce their 2016 release. Insomniac stated, We took all the lessons we'd learnt over the entries in the series, and improved the game and brought it up to date. And I think that was fantastic, because if you think about most games with their sequels, they just swap the formula around and it doesn't work, or they've changed too little, or it just might as well be DLC. There certainly needs to be a good middle ground between the two to ensure the success of a game's sequel. Ratchet and Clank did a substantial job in doing so, which I think is highly commendable. At this very moment, I just don't think we're going to see a Ratchet & Clank game that will arrive on our current generation of consoles. I think that we would have surely seen something about a new game by now. A teaser, a leak, just anything. I'm most certain that we're going to have to wait for the PS5 to see a new Ratchet & Clank game. Which is sad, and I know, but that's just the way that Insomniac wants to roll. And I respect that, as they most likely just don't want us to get bombarded with new games that we get sick of the franchise. But I guess we won't be sick of the Ratchet and Clank franchise, as no matter what form the Ratchet and Clank franchise is in, we might, just might, see a new Ratchet and Clank game for the PS5. And for that, I am hopeful. So thank you so much for watching this video, if you did enjoy then turn on that notification button and subscribe so you don't miss another upload from me. So thank you and goodbye.